babes welcome back to my channel I'm Jasmine thank you so much for watching if you are new welcome to my channel and if you have been here before hey girl so today's exciting video is going to be on this eye makeup look that you see right here and I use the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette and of course you guys have seen this everywhere by now but I finally got my hands on it today it's an annoying ass story of what happened. I ordered this on September 22nd. Normally the shipping has never taken that long, but it got lost, etc, etc. But I got my hands on it and I'm so excited. I really love the way that this look came out. out. This, this look, this look, the, oh, the only thing I hate is like it's white, so it's gonna get dirty. It's like bound to get dirty, get dirty. This palette has everything. Like I thought I loved my 350 palette. This one, especially all these neutrals i'm such a neutral girl and all these transition shades increased colors and just bomb ass just the formula is amazing which is why i now understand why the price point of this palette is a little bit higher than the other palettes on morphe but it's so worth it so so worth it so i use a few new products in this video so please check down in the description box to see what i used on my face today so yes, I have new hair and I am really loving it lately. I did not want to cut my hair and dye my hair. That's like a big change. So I picked up this wig. My friend actually got it for me and I um, love it. I am loving it. I'm a little bit like, I don't know because it's so different, but I've always wanted like a short bob and that's what this is. And the hair is actually really good. It was very, very, very inexpensive. If you guys want to know a little bit more about this hair, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you like it. Thumbs up for blonde hair. Do blondes have more fun? Maybe. So, okay, let's just get right into this video because I'm super, super excited to use this palette. So if you want to see how I got this look, of course, just keep on watching. You got your lip gloss on? Mm. You still have food on you. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, I have my little Miss Aaliyah down here. She's with me. She's not going to leave my side. So, we're going to just push right through that. Today, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette. And this palette is amazing i have swatched a lot of the shades on my snapchat if you are not following me on snapchat i will have it on the screen somewhere so you definitely want to go subscribe not subscribe definitely want to go follow me on there as well as Insta instagram um, but yeah i love the way that these colors are mixed in this palette it has basically everything that you will ever need i'm super late on getting this you guys because when i ordered it it got lots when I ordered it, it got lost. It never shipped a whole, like, irritating ass story. So, but now I finally got it. Um, I wish, can you see, since, since, since she's down here, she's going to be touching everything that's over here. So, hey, but like, I love all the neutral shades in this palette. So let's, let's just jump right into this, to this tutorial. So, watch out. Yeah. I already primed and set my eyes. I or I concealed my eyes with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as well as their loose powder. And of course I've done my eyebrows with the Wet n Wild Brow Pencil in Brunette. So I'm gonna go into this color right here. Um, this color is called Creamsicle and I'm going to use that as like my transition color and I really wish this palette had a mirror as well but it does not. but it's like the perfect transition color. With that same brush, I'm going to go in with the shade right next to it, and that shade is called Butter, and they really do feel like butter. I'm gonna open up this I mean chapstick put the lid back on it now to deepen it up um, some more and give me some definition I'm gonna take this color right here this color is called Jax that's cute J A C Z
I'm going to deepen the outer portion of my eye with this color right down here. The color is called Chip, and I'm going to use the same real techniques. Now I'm going to go in with this color right here and blend my crease. Now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and carve out the beginning of my eye. So not really a cut crease, but you know. Aliyah, close that door! Okay guys, so I put my lashes on. I'm wearing the Alexis lashes from AOA Studio on shopmissa.com. So now we're gonna get right into the face. And um, I'm trying a new lash glue too, by the way. It's the Kiss Strip Adhesive with, um, it doesn't have any formaldehyde and it's latex free and it has aloe in it. And so far I like it. It's like really sticky. Like these lashes will not come off. They are, they're on, okay? So let me go grab my foundation because I'm going to be using a new foundation and I'll be right back. Okay, so in my last video, I did use my Fenty by Rihanna. Jesus. I used my Fenty by Rihanna foundation in the color 240 and I love this foundation. But I do want to switch it up a little bit and not wear this one every day because I've been wearing it every day because it's that good. So I went and picked up the Maybelline Fit Me con uh, concealer. The Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Dewy and Smooth, and then also the Matte and Poreless one. I picked that one up as well. Um, but I've been having really dry skin lately. It doesn't look dry right now, um, but it has been very dry. So I wanted to try something that wasn't matte and that would give me some type of glow. And I tried this last night and I really liked it. So I'm going to be using this today. And to blend it out, I'm going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush. I should have wore, I, I tried it last night, and there's a mirror right here, so that's why I'm kind of turned this way. I tried it last night, but I really should have tried it today when I went out because I need to see how it, you know, how I'm going to do with it and the sun and stuff. I like it. It's like it matches me super, super perfect. Um, I don't really put much under my eyes because I use concealer for that. So for concealer today, I'm going to be using a new one. I finally picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and y'all, even off of one application last night when I tried it, I'm in the color light medium. I love the consistency. It blended out so nicely. So that's what I'm going to use today as well and I found a new concealer like a brush to blend out my concealer that I really like 
and it's by Lexi. So to blend that out, I'm going to take this Luxe Precision Foundation Brush. This is number 660. And I used to use this for my highlights, but I'm going to, I'm like loving it to blend out my concealer. Like it blends it out so nicely. I don't know if it's the brush or if it's just, this product is just, it blends out so nice. To set my under eye concealer, I'm going to use Cody Airspun. This one is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the color Light Medium, but I feel like it's too yellow for me to use as like a setting powder. Sorry, like what is she doing? She, my window's open. Um, so let me go grab my Cody really quick. Okay, so I brought my Cody Airspun over here in translucent, and I'm going to take a tapered brush to um, apply that underneath my eyes. So let me get a little closer. Uh oh. Ah! Yeah, I just stuck my hand in the Jacqueline palette. But this color is bomb. I'm gonna use this color on my bottom lash line, like, because it's so pretty. Okay, now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Fit Me Loose powder, and I got it in the shade light medium. And I'm just gonna use it on a big fluffy brush. It does have a sifter, um, so I'm just gonna tap my brush. washed out all right so the next thing that I'm gonna do to finish off my eyes I'm gonna take the same blending brush that I used um, on my crease by real techniques and I'm gonna take this shade right here called creamsicle and I'm gonna put that um, underneath my bottom lash line first before I go in with that blue And I'm going to get some of this blue off the bottom. And this blue is called Jada. So I'm gonna let this setting powder, I'm gonna let this set into my skin, then finish up my face, and I'll be right back. All right, finishing off my face, I'm gonna be using the Mega Glow Highlighter from Wet n Wild in 
Precious Petals. I feel like this has a pink undertone, so this is what I am gonna be using. I just sprayed my brush with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. All right, I'm gonna sit my face one more time. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. I had to switch it up one time for you guys. This is the finished look with the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about this look. Let me know what you think about this hair. And give me some more recommendations of some more hairstyles to try, some more looks to try out with this palette. And my light, my sun just went down, so my lighting's about to go away. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.